Hey guys, today our team has decided to do something a little different. You can call it a double feature of sorts, like uh, when they include two movies in one. Take Hobo with a Shotgun and Barney's Great Adventure, only, you know, with VPNs, because that's what we like to talk about. Now, as a quick refresh, VPNs stand for Virtual Private Networks which help protect your data and keep your online activities private. Now, VPNs do this by bringing you through servers that disguise your location and scramble your data. Two better known VPNs are Private Internet Access, aka Peer, and CyberGhost VPN. Now, the same company owns both, so it just made sense for us to review them together. So in this video, we're gonna be reviewing both, breaking them down into three different sections, privacy and security, or how well they do their job, usability and performance, or how fast and efficient they are when doing their job. And we'll also take a look at pricing and of course some optional features as well. Now in the interest of transparency, this is a sponsored video. But since our team believes so highly in our integrity as reviewers, we will stick with the facts and remain unbiased throughout our review. As always, you can find pretty good discounts for both of these VPNs in the description below. Go check it out. All right, so let's go start with the first VPN of our double feature, Private Internet Access. So Private Internet Access, or PEER, is based in the US, specifically Colorado. Now being a US-based provider comes with some advantages and disadvantages. So knowing this limitation, how does PEER address privacy and security? Namely, the US isn't known for being a data restrictive country. However, it is part of the five, nine, and 14 eyes alliances, meaning it must comply with US and international data laws when requests arise. What's the US known for again? Oh yeah, that. Now to address these concerns, Peer relies on an independently verified no logs policy. In 2020, the company furthered this focus on security by rolling out a series of new RAM only servers, which are crucial in maintaining this no logs policy. In addition, Peer has proven its commitment to privacy through a court request from the FBI. In a 2017 case where the FBI requested information on one Mr. Colby. Now despite this request, Peer didn't have any data to turn over proving its no logs policy in court. Peer has more examples of how it releases information under its transparency report, which shows no logs produced in any court orders, subpoenas, or warrants. Peer also relies on an open source software approach, meaning anyone can scrutinize the code behind its program. So in its general approach to security, it is transparent and it follows through with its promises. Encryption, one of the more important points, allows you to choose between either AES-128 or AES-256. Our preference is 256 as it is the same level of online encryption used by financial institutions and governments. The AES-128 might be preferable if you need less privacy online. For example, you might not want users to find out about your addiction to cuteness when you view over 500,000 photos of adorable hamsters. We're not judging, do what you will, but it's not a risky loss. For encryption, it relies on both WireGuard and OpenVPN, two of the most trusted protocols. If you come from Mac devices, you'll also get access to iKIP2, uh, IPsec, which is also trusted. And to take things even further, you'll also have the option to use Peer's private DNS servers. Now, this reduces the chances of DNS leaks, exposing your IP address or other data logs you might have. So is Peer secure? Well, yes, they have some amazing tools at their disposal, which makes them Perfect. Even with their location, Peer proves its no logs approach to gathering user data. Knowing this strong emphasis on security, how does Peer handle performance? To answer this, we need to find out about their potential server load. Now, individual server tests are rarely helpful because your experience might differ from mine. So let's look at the number of servers. Peer has some of the most significant server counts from any VPN, with a robust network that not only covers all 50 US states, but also 84 different countries. Other providers, even the top ones, don't come close to Peer's server count. However, most of them do have support in more countries. Still, Peer does support all major population centers, uh, which include servers in the Americas, Europe, Asia Pacific, Africa, and the Middle East. But they support all major states, making it excellent for US users. Peer also supports the fastest VPN protocol, WireGuard. And because of this, it has excellent speed potential. But none of this speaks to its usability. To start, Peer has a straightforward user interface because as they say, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Please take a look for yourself to find out whether you like it. Uh, for me, it is 
Pretty simple. Usability also concerns the number of simultaneous connections, which amounts to 10 total devices. Now, I understand the appeal of unlimited things I do. Here does have an excellent way to overcome this as it supports router installation. It also works for all major operating systems, including Windows, Android, iOS, Linux, and Mac devices. So with this in mind, in terms of usability, Peer does a pretty solid job overall. Peer already covers all devices, including smart TVs and gaming consoles. Anything beyond that, that would be overkill. Now for our last section, let's look at pricing and features. Regarding pricing, Peer is one of the more competitive options. It offers a starting rate of $11.95 per month, but discounts to $3.33 per year with longer plans. Of course, if you want the best deal, you can get 82% off and four months free by just clicking our affiliate link. So, Peer offers some of the most competitive pricing you can get. And when looking at the optional features that you pay for, Peer supports these areas. P2P torrenting and streaming with all major providers. Split tunneling which means that you can geolocate between different apps. 24-7 live support, an optional antivirus, and a kill switch that you can use to eliminate your connection if something happens to your VPN, preventing those potential leaks. Ultimately, Peer is great value for money, but it lacks the dark web protection features that you find on other VPNs. Ultimately, we're rating Peer a solid 4 out of 5. We recommend it if you want to focus on privacy and security, mainly because of its proven no logs features. So now that you know more about Peer, what about CyberGhost VPN? Well, let's jump right in and find out. CyberGhost VPN might be under the same parent company, but it's a different animal or ghost, I guess. So how does it do regarding security? On paper, everything seems pretty solid. The company has over 38 million users and a solid customer service reputation. CyberGhost is based out of Romania, which means that it's outside the 14 eyes jurisdiction. It also has protection under a modified form of the GDPR, but it still has to hand over data to the Romanian government, just like any other country. Now, this may sound worrisome, but CyberGhost doesn't really have anything to hand over, considering their strict no logs policy and their privacy by design principles. So, while governments can try asking, all they'll receive is an empty file. CyberGhost is a VPN that can decide when it doesn't want to answer questions. For the rest of us, well... Come on, get out of the bathroom. Come on, let's go for a walk. It addresses handing this data over through a quarterly and yearly transparency report. This report it clarifies data on legal requests technical aspects and provide some simple info on current team members. The report also references a no logs audit from a trusted company, Deloitte. Yeah, and you can get the full report by sending a request to them, which does show pretty solid transparency. Other notes on security include its reliance on the gold standard of AES 256 security, the same level that's used by Peer. Now, this security uses something called Perfect Forward, which frequently changes security keys, making it so difficult to crack. That strong security comes alongside the most potent protocols, WireGuard, ICAP2, and OpenVPN. You can also set up smart settings to switch between the protocols. CyberGhost could improve by using open source software and obfuscation. Now, obfuscation involves hiding your use of a VPN, which lets you use it when services usually block that VPN usage. But despite some potential improvements, it does get a solid security score. Now we're going to take a look at our next area, usability and performance. CyberGhost supports more than nine and a half thousand VPN servers in over 90 countries. This is above average compared to many top providers. If you use WireGuard with these servers, which CyberGhost supports, you can get incredibly fast speeds. For those who like to stream, the speed helps support the unlocking of more than 45 of the top streaming platforms. But it's still not as fast as Michael Scott. Here we go! 31! 31. CyberGhost also supports seven simultaneous devices for active connections, which is above average, but not the highest. However, you can install CyberGhost on a router to overcome your home network limitations. Beyond this, CyberGhost also has strong usability across all major operating systems and their devices. Mac, iOS, Windows, and Linux, they're all included. CyberGhost can even be found across smart TVs and even gaming consoles something fewer VPNs support. All of these factors give CyberGhost a perfect score on usability, mainly due to its strong support across many device types, making it ideal for streaming. For our last section, pricing and features, CyberGhost has gone through a recent update. At one point, 
we would say that CyberGhost's pricing is above average, sitting at about $13 per month. While it is pricey on its monthly and six month plans, it does offer competitive pricing as you pay for multiple years upfront. But if you want to spend less on your VPN than you do on your cup of coffee, you can get a huge CyberGhost discount in our description. All you need to do is click our affiliate link. Now, other important features worth noting include compatibility with over 40 streaming platforms, support for P2P torrenting, gaming optimized servers, a security suite for Windows that includes antivirus features, a kill switch and split tunneling, and a simple user interface with a great dark mode. This gives CyberGhost a perfect score on features and pricing. CyberGhost is ideal for streaming because of its broad support for services and fast speeds. Ultimately, both of these VPNs have room to grow, but the two are effective and they're transparent, which is what you need to ensure your VPN keeps you safe. After all, if your VPN is unproven and unclear about what it does with your data, you should think twice about using it. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Which VPN do you prefer and for what reason? In either case, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.